Start acting like the down looking little skinny little demon, man. Still, still driving out, talking fucking piss, hauling ass right up here. All because we didn't say God bless him. All because he, he was, what was he saying? Because I didn't, he was like, you could have at least gave me a thank you or the hell? Are you gonna talk to the Lord like that? You gonna talk to the Lord like that? That's why the Lord don't got nothing to do with you people, man. Because of the way y'all are. Y'all like little bunch of damn kids. Because your daddy and mommy don't give you something or acknowledge you. You want to throw a tantrum. And a, a lot of you grown men are like that too. 30 year olds, 40 year olds. And y'all still throw tantrums. That's why the most I don't deal with people that are, uh, that are not right, man. And thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. He wasn't a bitterness. He wasn't trying to, to, uh, to pour out his heart to y'all by Shem Shai and try to find the light and to, uh, uh, to transform himself to a new man. He wanted, he wanted to buy himself. He wanted to buy a blessing. He wanted to give money. We, us tell him that God bless you and leave and feel like he's on. he did a good deed. And he can live the rest of his life or the rest of his week or weekend. He probably did some wicked shit last night. You know? For all we know. Fuck that money, man. Whether it be a dollar, a thousand dollars, he would have been a thousand dollars to fucking throw all that cash out the fucking thing. <laughs> but that's another thing, too, under that. Just real quick, because, like, you want to say, you want to, we you know y'all people. I, I guarantee you, not more than like nine and a half, nine point nine 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 times out of ten, man. You people, when y'all come up and try to give something like that, y'all stop. Y'all want to be noticed while you're doing it. You're hoping the people driving by, or the people out here, you're hoping maybe someone's looking at you. Uh, there was a, an example that uh, a man, not much about has said a long time, man, a long time ago, about uh, seeking preeminence. He had given an example. He said, uh, he goes. When you play, when a, when, a, when a kid is playing basketball, or he's on a basketball team, and the coach tells him to make it in the hoop, he said, you, what, he says, what do you not do? He says, you don't bounce the ball, dribble it, and shoot, and make it, and then look at the coach to see if, you, if he's smiling at you. You make the ball. You know, you don't look back at the person or look at the people trying to uh, receive the Being a man pleaser. Yeah, yeah, a man pleaser, man. And I guarantee that's what that man was saying. Like, because otherwise, why would he have said, because, I mean, you're going to have to throw a fit over a dollar, man. At the most high, is dealing with U.S. currency, man. I got Isaiah, chapter 66 and 3. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificeth a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an, an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighted in their abomination. I will also choose their de delusions, and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes, and chose that in which I delighted not. Yeah, you chose that in which you delighted not. That's why your sacrifices, your offerings, don't mean shit to the whole side. That's why he said, that's what it's built. Uh, that one, I can't remember the chapter of Isaiah, the one where it says that uh, your righteousness is as filthy rags. You, 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 don't, you don't even, like when I read that scripture in, uh, in Luke about how it said that, nay, likewise, except you repent, you shall perish. The majority of people don't even know, don't even know how to begin. They don't know how to start the race. And I'm talking about starting the truth. You don't know where to start because you've got so much wickedness cl clogged up in your mind and on your bodies, you don't even know where to start. So you think that, the like we had this one guy a, a while back in, during, in the summer when we had to go down here one, one day, but uh, it was an older Negro and he tried to offer two dollars like it was like he was it was a great offering to us, man. He, we got into it with him too. Well, we, put, we put the money there too in the grass. We didn't, we didn't want it because y'all people, y'all think that money's gonna save you. You think you can buy your way out. You think that, you think that 
these, 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 these hundred bucks is a great offering to the Most High, man, when the Most High doesn't even deal like that. Uh, one in Romans 2 and 1, that's all I was going to get. It says that uh, to present your body a living sacrifice, that's an acceptable and, and reasonable service to the Most High. To put your life on the line and, and, and to stand up for truth, because you're, you're, in, a, you're in, a, in, a, in a place where truth is hated, it says that you're a prey when you, be, when you, when you try to speak the right thing. That's the right thing, man. Not, not goddamn dollar bills. It's Isaiah 13 and 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver as for gold. They shall not delight in it. Their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. Right, like the brother made a, uh, an example earlier from, uh, what, like, what would you do when, if, the, if a military came up to your house and, and they were like, well, what do you got? And he said, uh, my 401k. And then, it's just numbers on a computer today. You don't have any money. They did away with gold, man. Uh, a dollar is just a receipt. I mean, we're not going to get on that subject, but a dollar is just a receipt. Right? It's not even real. It's not even worth anything. And if it's not, if it's not worth anything, if it's not worth anything to man, then how much more does that mean it's not worth anything to the Most High? Because the ways of the Most High are higher than the ways of men. That should tell you something right there, man. Uh, this is Job 28, and uh, Job 28 and 12. But where shall wisdom be found? Understanding. Man knoweth not the price thereof, neither is it, is it found in the land of the living. The debt saith, it is not in me. And the sea saith, it is not with me. It cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, with the precious onyx and the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it. And the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The topaz of, of Ethiopia shall not equal it. Neither sh shall it be valued with pure gold. Where then cometh wisdom, and where is the place of understanding? Seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living and kept close, from the fowls of the air, destruction and death say, we have heard the fame thereof with our ears. God understandeth the way thereof, and he knoweth the place thereof. When it said death and destruction, we have heard the fame thereof, that death and destruction don't come upon a man who has understanding, who has, on, uh, not on, who has wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, who has a fear of the Lord. That's what keeps you from dying. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have that, well, where's that one? Uh, where it talks about how, uh, uh, is it Zephaniah chapter two, verse three, I think, where it says, they are right, seek, oh, I can't remember how it says it, but it says like seek, seek wisdom, seek understanding that that, way, that that might be hid from the anger of the Lord in that day. You know, yeah, yeah, like, like I said, it is hid from the ways of all the living. That's why you, uh, you don't understand it. That's why you think that when a guy has, is really uh, knowledgeable, I think he's a dweeb or something, or a dork, or that he's just crazy. Uh, knowledge can't make you crazy, but it make, well, the way y'all think about crazy is like he's all bugged out, but really it's a, it makes a man stable. There's one where it says that uh, uh, in Sirach, it says that the poor, man is, the poor man is honored by his skill and the rich man by his riches. But the poor man, because he has understanding, being dealt with by the whole side. That's why it says that I think Isaiah 13 6 that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times, man. What, what are you gonna do with your gold and silver, man? People go, uh, there's that movie, uh, I saw it, as below, or uh, as above, as, as above. Above, so above. Yeah, man. Uh, the, the, the girl, the chick, she went for the stone. Basically, she knew the right, she went the right way. But the other people, man, they were bugging out with from all those, uh, all the treasure. Treasure. Yeah, man. You, and a lot of y'all people, I, I was another one, that new movie, The Lord of the Rings, I watched it, 
But man, you watch that that uh, uh, I don't know what they call them, the trolls, uh, the, the dwarves. Yeah, man. But the the, the king, that the, the the one who's supposed to be the king, and you see all that treasure in there, it drove him mad. It drove him insane. He started trying to. He was he was ready to kill his own best men, man. He believed. He said that if any man hides that 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 stone for me, I'm gonna kill him. And he was he was bugging out, man. He was looking at he was looking at everybody. He was thinking that everybody had it, that everybody was hiding it from him. You know, and it got to a point where he just drove it drove him mad. But he finally he finally uh, got right. But that's what that's what it is, man. Like y'all people think that the most I, it says the most I should not regard silver nor gold in that day, man. He's not gonna he's not gonna look at you because you're a rich man. He says he's coming back to, to destroy a rich man. And it doesn't, and it's not necessarily talking about uh, actual uh, riches like uh, gold and money. It can be the, the riches you hold in your own mind, uh, things you, and, and, and the material. Like I was gonna get that one in Matthew where it said, uh, seek no riches, uh, seek, seek you the kingdom of heaven first. Uh, if, 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 if you want me to get that there, man. Uh, Matthew chapter 6. Uh, verse 33 uh, or no uh, verse 32 for after all these things do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knoweth that you have need of all these things but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you but that's it man you're supposed to be seeking the kingdom man and the most high will uh we will give you all those things after. Seek after wisdom, man. Yeah. Knowledge, not, not carnal things. Yep. Temporal. Uh, I got a uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter eight, verse twenty-one. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except God gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom, also to know whose gift she was. I prayed unto the Lord and beside him, and with my whole heart I said. Right, and the most but, high, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, that that uh, Solomon is saying that it comes from the Lord, though. The that, and it's only given to those that are chosen to have it. And the most high, man, the one thing about it, just to give another more, more truth out there, in the kingdom, like, y'all don't get it, man. In this time, it's the lowest form of, like the brothers always say, it's the lowest form of glory that was established in this time. You know? I still live in block houses, right? But in the kingdom, things are going to uh, progress. You know what uh, I know for a fact, anything's going to be possible in the kingdom. But everything that is possible requires knowledge. And that's how the, the most high wants his men to be smart. Wants them to be knowledgeable, understanding, know what's right, what's wrong, what's the right way. That's what the most high likes. Not, not a man sitting at home and he's sitting on the throne and under him he has a stack of money. And they have that commercial, uh, it's my money, give, or that one guy, man. But they have, they're all sitting on a pile of money. Yeah, man, but that's not what he delights in, man. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 16. For in his hand are both we and our words, all wisdom also, and knowledge of, of workmanship. For he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely to know how the world was made and the operations of the elements, the beginning, ending, and midst of the times, the alterations of the turning of the sun and the change of seasons, the circuits of years and the positions of stars the natures of living creatures and the, the furies of wild beasts, the violence of winds and the reasonings of men, the diversities of plants and the virtues of roots. All such things are as are either secret or manifest them I know. For wisdom, which is the worker of all things taught me, for in her is an understanding spirit, holy, one only, manifold, subtile, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it, ready to do good. And again, it, it, there's no price, you can't put a price on wisdom. But that's what Yahweh Shai does, he gives you, he 
You want a vessel that's made to be able to retain that knowledge and to pass on that knowledge. See what I'm saying? Like you were saying earlier, that you gotta know, you have to have, uh, you gotta give, be given instruction, knowledge, and you gotta apply that which makes one wise, wisdom. And then you, that's how you learn to do things. It's like in Isaiah, it says right here, uh, Isaiah 28 and 9, whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. So he's looking for those that have some form of basic understanding, like what's, what's, the, what's our creator's name? You know, who do I really honor? You know, who do I not pray to? Who, who am I as a person? You know, being liberated and delivered from the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the captivity of thy mind and the captivity of being in this world. And he's going to endow you with truth. What does the scripture say in John? It says, uh, uh, the, uh, how does it go? Uh, John 8. to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples. A disciple is a student, one that's being taught, that's learning. Indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So that's that's our job. And those that are uh that are that are a disciple mode, and they progress up to being apostle, you're advancing. We're getting closer to Yah by Shem Yahweh Shai. Like this one. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 40, verse 25. Gold and silver make the footstand sure, but counsel is a steam above them both. Which is but counsel is a steam against, against them both. Counsel. You know? Uh mistaken uh, that word counsel counsel goes back to scriptures testimonies which are found where in the Bible so his testimonies his, his words of wisdom are esteemed higher than gold and silver just like it said that his wisdom is, is, is valuable it's highly priced like like the brother brought out that movie about as above so below that woman that was looking for that stone that was into the, uh, the uh, alchemy, she knew that that stone had powers. But she knew at the end of the movie she had to return that back because it, it, didn't, it didn't lie in the stone itself. It lied in, in uh, basically she, she found out it was in herself. So she unlocked that mystery because uh, that's, that's the same thing with the, script, the scriptures. It's not found on, on a, a thing that's written on stone. It's not found by you holding this book. You have the power. You have to be uh, uh, chosen and selected and the most High opens your mind of understanding and it bonds in you. It comes and lives in you, the spirit. And then you have, you're basically like immortal. Man. Nothing can hurt, hurt you or touch you. You, can, you have the power to heal. You have the power to cast out demons. That's what uh, Yahweh Shai was doing. His, his mind, he was using the full, the full capacity of his brain. Even the apostles got to uh, experience that by the Spirit. Read that one again. Uh, gold and silver make the foot stand short. The council is esteemed is esteem above them both. Riches and strength lift up the heart, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. There is no want in the fear of the Lord, and it needed not to seek help. Side's gonna take care of you and guide you through darkness. That's what I'm saying. You know, thy, 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 word is thy, uh, thy staff, and I walk in the valley of the shadow of death. That thy staff shall come for me. You know, his testimonies, his words. Psalms 119 explains it all, tells you. Uh, first Timothy's uh, 6. And 17, charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power, 
who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. That's who you're supposed to.